Hey everyone, I'm Aria, and as an artist who uses Blender as my main creative tool, I don't think there's a more intimidating thing to see than a new scene in Blender. When you open up a new scene, you're presented with a default cube, a light, and a camera. And because Blender is such a powerful and versatile tool, it can be difficult to try and figure out where to go after that. So I just wanted to talk about how I get started when I'm creating a new piece of artwork and how I get from something like this to something like this. If you want to see the process I use to create these pieces, then check out the link in the description. Okay, let's get started. So the first tip that we're going to talk about is the use of reference material when you're creating artwork. References could come from a lot of different places, the most obvious being other pictures or videos, or maybe a story or some poetry that you've read, as well as movies and other types of content. It can also come from everyday life, so I always like to keep my eyes open and just take pictures of things that I see and come across, so I can always reference back to those when I'm looking for some inspiration. But you can also use something as simple as just your emotions and your experiences, or even just a few words, as long as it sparks your creativity. A lot of my work is abstract, and that gives me a little bit of an advantage when I'm creating my work, because there's a lot of experimentation involved, and often where I start is not where I end up. Which brings me to my next important tip, and that's the use of iteration. When I was in art school, I remember my teachers telling me to do a lot of different iterations when they saw my work, and it was hard at first because sometimes when you get an idea in your head, it's hard to let it go, but if you allow yourself to create a bunch of different options, you might find that what you come up with later on is much better than what you started with. So make sure that even once you have an idea that you're trying different methods just to see what works best for your artwork. And once you've settled on that process, it's always a good idea to keep trying new things in order to get a better result. Even if that means starting over if something's not working for you. If things are continuously not working for you, there is the possibility that it has nothing to do with your creativity, but rather your knowledge of the tools that you're using, which often comes as a result of learning and practicing, which is tip number three. When I first started using geometry nodes, I found it a little bit difficult because oftentimes the names of the nodes are unfamiliar, and even though you know what you want to do, it's hard to figure out how to actually implement that. So it's always a good idea to watch different tutorials and practice what they're showing you. There have been countless times where I've been watching a tutorial, either from someone else or even one of my own, where I learn or relearn something that helps me move forward in my project. And practicing those types of skills so that when you end up in a situation where you need to figure out an issue, you're a lot more capable of solving the problem. Tip number four is composition. Finding the right composition for your artwork is very important in the final outcome. So often when I'm in a good place with my animation, I like to jump forward and start texturing, adding lighting, as well as just finding the general composition of the scene. Finding the right composition as early as possible will give you a good idea of things that are missing or things that need to be changed with your animation. And adding some basic textures and lighting along with your composition will start to give you a really good idea of what the final output is going to look like which will help motivate and move you towards the end goal and be a more enjoyable process. Which brings me to my fifth and final tip, which is to make sure that you have fun. If you're not into the project that you're doing, it can be really hard to be motivated. So when I'm creating my work, I like to throw on some music or YouTube in the background, which I find helps me focus better on what I'm creating. As well, if you are starting to struggle a bit or you're too tired, it's always a good idea to take a little bit of a break, get some fresh air, and then come back to what you're doing. If you want to grab the file that I've been creating during this video, you can head over to my Patreon page and sign up to become a member. You'll get this file as well as a bunch of other files from past tutorials. And if you enjoy my content, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep building and growing the channel and adding a lot more content. I hope to see you soon. Bye!